I hope you guys had a really amazing holiday season with your family. And I want to say happy holidays and happy 2021, okay? Very first thing that I want to say is if you haven't already, go get your 2021 boss planner that I have released. In that planner, there's tons of information. There's affirmations. There's CTA logs. There's, uh, of course, your 12-month calendar, separate business calendar, separate weekly business goals, and also task logs and notes section. And then within this planner also, I did want to put a twist to it. So I did put a 30-day Instagram content upload schedule in there for all of you babes out there that are suffering with figuring out what to post on Instagram for your business. And not only that, I did put vendors in there also because there is a business checklist within this particular planner as well. So in the back of the planner, there is also a vendors list as well. And in that vendors list, it's uh, just a robber Meese hair vendor, a Brazilian hair vendor, a Peruvian hair vendor, a sunglass vendor, and a makeup vendor for you guys because I wanted it all to be in one and I wanted you guys to have everything that you needed all in one planner from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and the whole startup process when starting and executing your business. So I didn't want you guys to have to look any further when it did come to having a digital planner that you guys can uh, purchase and then be able to print out and utilize at your leisure. And uh, with all of that being said, there is a few more specs uh, uh, and things within that planner as well. But those are the main things that I wanted to share with you guys that are inside of the planner. If you guys are interested in purchasing the planner, it is in the link of the description box. It's the very first link for you guys. Other than that, let's jump right into this video. 2021 is going to be the year that we conquer what we say we're going to conquer regarding our business. And I'm gonna speak for myself, and I'm sure some of you guys can speak for yourself as well, for putting goals in place and not 100% meeting them. So with all of that being said, this is the year of planning in the beginning and executing by the end. And I want you guys to follow, follow this trend or these steps that I'm going to give you guys regarding starting up your business. So what we're gonna talk about within this video is, your, is the starting up a business checklist. Now, as you guys know, I cater more so towards hair companies in the beauty industry, but these are, the information that I'm going to give you guys can be utilized for any type of business. It doesn't matter if you're opening up a shoe company, a hat company, a toy company, uh, a boutique, you have to you have to utilize this checklist in order to execute starting a business in general. And like I said, some of this information that I'm going to give you guys is in the planner and it's all written out. It's it's literally a checklist for you guys uh, that you can literally check off as you go. So make sure if you guys do want this checklist, uh, you guys go ahead and purchase the planner and it is one of the pages within the planner as well. So you guys can have a hard copy of this. But one of the things is creating a business name for yourself. You want to create a business name that works for you. You want something that's timeless. And when I say timeless, I mean something that is not going to go outdated, something that's not going to go out of trend. Um, a lot of the people that I do have coaching sessions with, so if you do want to book a coaching session with me, all that information is in the description box as well. But some of the clients that I do have coaching sessions with, they ask me if they should incorporate things like, example, rosehair.com. I always say no, because you don't want to limit your business to just hair, extensions, lashes, press on nails, things like that. So you want to keep that out of your business name. So that's, uh, that's one of the tips or tr tips or helpful things that I'm going to tell you guys. Pick a name, but don't categorize your business name under a certain category that you're retelling under. So no hair, no extensions or anything like that, because at that point, your name isn't timeless anymore. Uh, the next one is going to be actually planning. Uh, and when I say planning, I literally mean getting a pen and paper or getting on Google Documents or Word, whatever you have to do, and actually sit and draw out, write out whatever works for you, how exactly you're going to execute the things that you're going to execute and put it in motion. 
I want you to write out things such as dates. When are these things going to be accomplished? What exactly do you want to do? Are you going to have a photo shoot for your business? If so, when is it going to be done? Are you going to have a website for your business? If so, when are you going to uh, have it launched by? When are your, When is your website going to be published to the internet? How much money do you have to spend on a graphic designer? Are you going to create a website? If you don't know how to create a website, are you going to learn how to create a website? This is all questions that you need to ask yourself regarding a plan. You guys, in my opinion, need to set, set realistic goals for yourself. If you know that you're not going to accomplish something, don't even put it in your plan. Don't even put it in the blueprint, okay? It's not worth it. But if you know you're gonna stick to this and by any means necessary, blood, sweat, and tears, you're gonna make it happen, put it in there, okay? Uh, some other things that I want you guys to, to plan is the cost, the startup cost. How much money in the bank are you going to have to start your business? Are you going to wait till income tax season? Are you going to use your stimulus checks? What are you going to do? Are you going to save your next two, three checks and start your business and uh, start putting things towards your business? These are plans. And it's okay if it takes you three months. It's okay if it takes you six months to start everything. Just get it started and put the plan on paper, okay? Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the business the checklist for the business. At this point, you need to get everything registered for your business. And with that being said, you need to choose a, a good business legal structure that you prefer. And that could be a DBA, doing business as, that can be an LLC, limited liability company, or an S Corp. It's all what you want. So make sure you guys do your research and figure out exactly what you want. If you're gonna have multiple businesses, I would go for an S Corp. If you if this is your first business and you don't really know what if, if it's gonna work out for you, I would do a DBA. If this is your business and you're gonna put your blood, sweat, and tears behind it, I would do an LLC. Like, of course, there's more into it, but like that's just me giving you guys like a general overview or an idea. The next one is obtaining an EIN number. Uh, if you guys don't know how to obtain an EIN number, I do have a video. I'll put it in the index card above my head for you guys in case you guys want to figure out how to get an EIN number. That's very simple. All you're going to do is go to irs.gov slash EIN and fill out the paperwork. They'll Once you submit it, you get an EIN number right then and there, print it out, and you have an EIN number. At that point, you need to go ahead and set up your account systems. You need to figure out exactly if you're, what type of banking systems that you're going to be running your accounts through. Are you going to have a Bank of America account? Are you going to have a Chase account? Are you going to have a Fifth Third? You know, there's so many different banks out there, but at that point, you need to figure out exactly the banking system that you want to run or operate your business through. Uh, from this point, you then need to figure out products and services. What type of products are you going to offer? Or what type of services are you going to offer? What type of budget do you want uh, your products to be to your customers? Are you more high end? Are you going to be more affordable? These are just questions that I want you guys to think about. It's 2021. Time to put your plan in motion and get everything started, okay? No more excuses. No more lazy days. It's time. You saw what happened in 2020. A crisis hit. You saw how many people lost their jobs. You saw how many people... Lost their homes, cars, assets. This is my son. 2021 is the year to be your own boss and save. So if something like this, a pandemic is to hit again, because the pandemic isn't even over, you guys will have all the necessities that you guys need in order to make a living for you and your family, okay? So you be the game changer for you and yours. And start with these little steps. Every little step in the long run is a big step. So let's make it happen. And let's start today. I will see you dolls in my next video. And don't forget, if you guys are interested in the 2021 planner, it is in the description box for you. Other than that, I love you guys and I wish you guys so much success, okay? I really do. Mwah!